Hey what's up guys, it's the Ghost Hacker here and I am back for another Visual Studio tutorial and today as you can see we are continuing our Skype series and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change a status on Skype. Now this is very easy to do, it's not hard at all and if you guys have not watched part 1 already I recommend you go watch it because it is very important for this to work. So we're going to hop in here and we're going to grab ourselves a combo box. Now we can put that right there, that's good. Now you don't have to use a combo box, you can use buttons or whatever you want really. So we're going to scroll down here, if you do use a combo box, and we're going to go to our items right here, click the three little dots, and I copied this, and there we go. Put in all the uh, options you want, click OK. Now we're going to double click our combo box here, and we're going to use a select case statement. You guys, uh, if you never used one before, it's very easy. I might have made a video on it before, I do not remember. So we're going to start here and we're going to do select case combo box one dot text. Now an if statement is pretty much just a, or not if, a select case statement is pretty much an if statement, but you can do multiple in one, if that makes sense. So we're going to do quotes here and we're going to do online and below that we're going to do skype dot well here it is current user status equals and now this should show up for you if it doesn't press control and spacebar and it will alright so in here we can just pick online there we go now below that we're going to make another case put our quotes again and I believe the next one's away I believe I'm not too sure it doesn't matter what order you put in really Skype dot current user status equals. Oh wait, so it's pretty much the same thing for each option you want. So we can continue here and go case. I believe the next ones do not disturb. Dot current user equals, and wait, is it do not? Oh no, that's not it. We need do not disturb. There we go. And again, so if we used if statements, we'd have to do a bunch of them over and over again, and that would not be very good. I forget what next. What's next? Invisible. That's it. Okay. Invisible. I'll delete that in a second. Don't worry, guys. Skype dot current user status equals, and we need invisible. Did I skip one if oh wait yeah offline case offline skype dot current user and offline so that's pretty much it that's all you have to do and that will work perfectly fine now um yeah we'll just quickly start our program and try it out got my Skype here as you can see I'm online right there if we go here and go away, we're away, do not disturb, invisible, and offline, and online. There we go, so it all worked perfectly good, per or perfectly good, that makes sense, perfectly fine, and uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. Very easy, not hard at all. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like, and until next time guys, hope you guys have a great day, and bye-bye. Uh,